Hello, this is Jilly Bling. How are you? Are you ready for a little hint of fall? This is a set in the new um, mini catalog. Um, oh, I can't open it up. The fall um, holiday catalog, and it starts September 6th. So this is a project, and I've done this layout a few times, and I just love it. And when I saw these papers, I thought somehow you have to do something with this layout. And it's a little bit of a shame that this flower stamp and then there's a die to cut it out. I have to cover up so much of it, um, but it's still a beautiful card. So this is today's project. We'll be using the stamps at Fruitful Blessings. And this is um, for avid stampers. So the cards by no means are simple but don't don't let that sway you and um, if you purchase this bundle through me before um, the catalog starts September 6th so before September 10th I would love to send you the card kits for free and then you could use this video as a tutorial and it will have all of the pieces um, cut and scored ready for you to go you'll use your own stamp set to, um, to stamp and I cut the images and then you'll color it in yourself but you'll have all the pieces the ribbon the embellishments everything um, will be sent to you and if you can use this host code if it's over 150 because you're adding other things on don't use the host code uh, so fruitful blessings will use fruitful blessings dies all that dies and that's for this pebbled path little label and then natural prints will be for the word label okay let's get started so like I said I've used this um, layout at least three this is at least my third time and I used it um, last fall for Christmas banners and that turned out beautiful but I'm going to use the same template and I'll take a picture of the template I should cross this out and change it to not Christmas banners now it is fruitful blessings um, and we'll I'm not concentrating and um, we can cut out this right now but the picture of this will be on my blog, and my blog is jillybling.com. Okay. Oh, hold on. I have a paper over there, but it has all these perfect little piles on it. I like the perfect little piles. Okay, so step number one. Score it at two inches and six inches. So this is the Staper, Stampin' Up paper trimmer, and it is lovely. I've tried quite a few other ones. I've tried Stampin' Up's old version. Each time they send something out, um, this has been here for a few years. It gets better and better. Um, so score it at two inches and six inches. So I'm looking right here at the top. Two inches. This is my score blade. I purposely have this one with pink Sharpie on it. Because it's been a few times that I've chose the wrong blade and that causes a problem. Next step is cut at one and a quarter between the score lines. And that's to do this cut right here. Okay, so one and a quarter, taking the edge, putting it to one and a quarter, cut between the score lines. So I'll position this. And the little um, cutting blade and scoring blade they have a little line on either side so you know right where the blade starts and stops but this um, card it isn't all that particular like right here I went a little bit over but in the end it's okay here I went a little bit short um, but don't don't worry about that it, you don't have to scrap the paper okay one and a quarter cut between the score lines Okay, step number three, score at three inches and five inches, and that's for these score lines. Oh, and while I'm thinking about it, the base paper is cut to five and a half by eight, 
Usually base papers are to eight and a half. This one is five and a half by eight. Okay, score at three inches and five inches. And that's between the cut marks. Three inches and five inches. Ooh, that one I went way over. But I'm gonna be co covering that up with beautiful designer paper. So it'll be just fine. Okay, three inches and five inches. And then, step number four, score it four inches. And that's for this peak right here. Four inches. And that's for this top piece and bottom piece. Okay, that's all it takes for the card base. Not too bad, huh? And um, if you order the bundle and you're interested in getting your card kits, um, I will have this all cut and scored for you already. And I'll have all these little tiny pieces we're going to put on here cut and scored for you. Or just cut. Um, okay, so when we look at this, let me put it this way. Then you could see this piece goes up. This part here goes out. Out. That goes up. Okay, so that is about how it goes. And you notice at this point, I'm not really using my bone folder. Um, those are just kind of soft folds. I like to take it and take each score one at a time. And I'm looking at how these line up and these line up. And not that I'm doubting my scoring, but when I take the time to do that, um, the card just seems to work much better. In particular, this card. Because one of the cards um, I did a few months ago, the same layout, I didn't take the time to do that. And when it was closed up, and then when I went to open it, it started getting hung up. This one just, they all will hang up just a little bit. But if you take the time to check your scores, scoring, and make sure that they're straight, that doesn't happen. Okay, so these two are done. Then, I'm going to check down here and just confirm the folds, just so you have a nice, a good, nice crease. And then, okay, so let's check this. Good. And after you um, do the movement a few times, it makes it work a little bit better. When you close it like you're getting ready to mail it, sometimes it hangs up just a little one bit, but this is doing pretty good. Okay, so. Remember how I was saying, oh, I don't want to disturb all those. So these pieces, and I'll put all the paper cut sizes on my blog. These pieces, um, four of them for the sides, and we're decorating the front and the back. Front has beautiful paper, the back has beautiful paper. So one, two. Oh, I didn't show you what paper this is. These are gonna go on the back. This is for front and back. These little pieces. Oh, Bo is, Bo is getting someone. One, two, three, and then for the back. And then these little bitty pieces, there's four different sizes. They go right here on the side panel. So the big one, the center one, two, these little rectangles, three, and then these side pieces is four. And I have one already done, because you don't need to watch me glue those on. Look at that. Doesn't the card look like, oh my gosh, we're almost already there. But we have to decorate it just a little bit. Okay, let's see what's next. Look at this paper. So we'll be using all these pieces. Isn't this beautiful? This is where the gold and vanilla paper came from. Same print as this, but with a vanilla background. Same here, 
I was about to use that, but it's like those that's just calling Christmas. I don't think I could get flowers on there. And I didn't use this vanilla piece. There's the vanilla one still left. So you get one sheet of each of these six designs. It's pretty much three designs in two color tones. And then of course the gold foil paper. Okay, so let's see what we have over here. This is for the words. Let's start with the words. This one I used this the words wishing you many blessings. This time I want to use grateful for you. So just put that here. Can you see the vanilla? Yeah, you could see it on the, the white paper. And when you get the kit, your um, stamp will be in your bundle, but I'll have this cut out for you. And then you could just stamp it right on there. Okay, so these two get die cut. with the words. Oh, look how that matches up. Like right to the tip of that. Okay, and then this one from He's All That. I love the stamp set, but I really love the dies. Okay, so I'm going to cut these out. Okay, so those are going to go on here happening and let's stamp some flowers so they're going to be stamped in memento so we color them with the blends okay and then on the back there's two flowers and then the little sprig. So that's what this is for. Good. Okay. And then this paper, since we're stamping, is for the back. Hello, friend. Check how that stamps. Ooh, that's nice. Is that straight? Mm, let me try again. I'll take the best, the best of the two of them. That's a little bit better. It's off to this side, but. Oh, this just gets stuck on. We could do that. Stamp and seal. It's a good sticky, sticky adhesive. Okay, that goes right in the middle. Okay. Yeah, those are done. So let's cut out these and gold, gold, just plain gold. The gold, the pack, it comes with, I think it's three different types of gold foil paper, which is kind of fun. They're all close enough that they're interchangeable. Um, and then these little leaves, as cute as can be, Cut out three of those, oh, and then these. Oh, did I show you what these are all about? This is for right here. So we need four of those. Okay. So here's four of those. three little leaves, and don't fret, I didn't leave you hanging with the coloring. There's a little bit more coloring to go, but this one is ready to go. Isn't that pretty? 
And are you asking yourself, wait a minute, you forgot a color one. On the sample, I colored it, but guess what? It got covered up. No matter what I did, I couldn't get even just a peek of it to show. I think I like if you lift up the words, you can see it, but I was just so disappointed. But with this card, when you close it up to mail it, if I had it way out here so you could see all the flowers, you wouldn't be able, because see, the words are still covering it up. <clears throat> you wouldn't be able to get it into an envelope, so you really have to tuck them under. Oh, sigh. But with that, now you know. If you're doing this card, you don't have to color that bit. And I didn't color this half of the flower, nor the leaves over here. So that's what these two are. On this one, I used, um, see how they're just a little bit of a different color? This I used, what is it? Um, Blackberry Bliss, dark. And then I used Berry Burst. And I thought, oh, that's just too dark. I love how rich it is, but I thought it covered up the line art. So this one I did Berry Burst and Freesia Dark. And then I was missing, because this one I did with Petal Pink, I was missing the fall colors. So these are now little daisies, and they're in the fall colors. Okay, so for coloring, not that it's hard, but I started out... So I'm going to use three colors, Berry Burst Dark, Berry Burst Light, and Fresh Freesia. Fresh Freesia, I'm trying to reserve just for the tips. Berry Burst Dark is just for the inside of the petals. So here we go. Just the inside of the petals are done in Berry Burst Dark. So now is Berry Burst Light, and I'm not even going to try to blend much, but I'm just going to try to save room for the flower tips. See how there's that little rounded area? That's going to be the freesia. Sometimes when coloring, it gets, well, using three colors, I guess I'm making it tricky. But um, I just want each of those three colors to show. And they're so similar that they naturally blend without even trying. So I am really close. Okay, not that close. Um, you know how last year I went to Norway? And that was because I had a few new recruits and I had regular sales, but the new recruits put me over the top. This year I've been focusing on doing YouTube videos, doing online, hoping that I get a few new customers, which I have, and I try to send them always a thank you card for your order, just to know that they I appreciate it. Anyhow, I'm really close to getting it again, and I haven't even talked to Tony about it, because last year, going to Norway, that, that was a dream come true. Um, I was somewhat close and I bought, I'm not going to say how many thousands, thousands of dollars in white paper knowing that eventually I would use it just so I could go on the trip. So I was looking at the numbers today and I know the new catalog is coming out, but I just might end up buying thousands of dollars of white paper just so we could go on this trip. And this year it's to Cancun which will be fun. Nothing like Norway. Norway, that was something I didn't even dare put on a bucket list. That, that was incredible. And thank you. Thank you, thank you to all of those that helped with orders. Anyhow, what I'm saying is, if you have anything that you like from the upcoming catalog, if you can, put it on your credit card like as, as soon as you can. If you can, get it in. The cutoff date is September 30th or the 29th or something. On the 29th, wherever it is, 
I'm going to be buying thousands of dollars of white paper just so we can go. So that's kind of exciting. Okay, that's really exciting. Stampin' Up! is a great company. Okay, so Berry Burst Light is done. And I saved just a little bit of room on the flower tips for Freesia Dark. My marker isn't working. And just filling it in. And usually when I color with the blends, I try to do two layers of color. But this I purposely wanted a little bit light. So I'm just filling in the vanilla paper. Oh, and another thing with coloring um, on vanilla paper, coloring on white paper, Stampin' Up! White, is lovely. The vanilla paper is very similar, but the vanilla paper has a tendency to um, become saturated, and then it bleeds a little bit outside the lines. So that's another reason why I'm hitting it just once and then moving on to a different area. And this piece, these flowers are going to go on the back side of the card. And you could use your die and it would cut out part of it. But you end up having to hand cut or fussy cut some of it. So I'm just going to fussy cut the whole thing. We still have to do the yellow orange flower. And for that I was using daffodil light and dark and pumpkin pie light. Color it in. So the next project, because I'm going to do three different designs, and those are the three you'll get with um, purchasing the bundle. The next one is going to be another fun fold. Not quite as fancy as this one. No, I don't know, maybe it is. Um, but using the pears. And that is turning out pretty. I kept on trying to put more and more color onto the pears. Oh, wait till I show you. I try to color the pears. And you know how pears have like that kind of red hue to it? And then I was looking up online, what do pears really look like for coloring? Mm, my pears are going to be green. And I'll show you my whoops. <laughs> it's bad. Okay, so that's done. The flower is done. The rest of it should go pretty quick. And for the yellow-orange one, I used Daffodil Light, Daffodil Dark, and Pumpkin Pie. And because this is so small, I'm not even trying to blend them. And what's nice is you're like, I could see your pumpkin pie line but they'll just well I was gonna say they should just blend but I think because I did this about an hour ago maybe if the marker is still a little bit wet it blends okay a little blending oh I didn't do the inside of my um what is that like a mum so that's gonna be in wild wheat so I did the Wild Wheat Light, Wild Wheat, so I did light right in the very center, and now dark I'm doing it on the circle, the perimeter, and that little dot on the inside. Probably should have looked up what flower this is, I know somebody's going to tell me. You guys are so smart. Um, I'm not really sure what that dot thing is supposed to be doing. Okay. And the orange one has copper clay. So I did the copper clay light already. Copper clay dark. I'm just going to do just like a little smiley underneath it. Just for a little interest, a little difference. And then do you see on these little dots, these berries? Those are in copper clay too, but I left room for a little shadow. And it's so tiny, I don't know if you would even notice it, but 
but I'm pretending like you would. Okay, I think we're done with coloring. And then the um, leaves on the front were done in Old Olive. On the other one, I did them in Mossy Meadow, which is kind of a richer look. This is a little brighter and fresher. So whatever you prefer is good. Okay, fussy cutting, here we go. And on this side that the flowers touch other flowers or leaves, purposely cutting a little bit close because I don't want the disruption of the line from the leaf. Tony is out picking tomatoes for part of our dinner tonight. He is like the garden master. We've had so many tomatoes. They're so good. I love them. But we have um, cherry tomatoes going on, and they are so delightful. Have you ever gone to the store, got a tomato, assuming it's going to be like homegrown, and you're like, what is this? This has no flavor at all. Yeah, summer is good. We have lots of cucumbers. They're slowing down, but they're still producing. I say we, but it's all because Tony is outside gardening. I'm inside stamping. I throw it in front of him. Maybe, maybe I'll earn the trip. <laughs> like trying to provide value. Value in the world. <laughs> or... I never I never say anything to him, but yeah, like even today. Yeah, I cleaned house. Yeah, it was so hard not to be here working on this project and mopping the floors. <sighs> but the house smells clean. Love that. Okay, we are almost there. Then it's time for assembly. So yesterday, if Tony comes in, I'm going to stop this story really quick. Yesterday, he was in the garage, and I was hearing all this pounding. So I went out. I'm like, hey, what are you doing? He's like, ah, oh, nothing. <laughs> and then I look over, and the cabinets in the garage, part of it over the workbench, it was falling off. I'm like, well, that's not good. I said, why did you buy? Because in our previous house, we had um, really nice cabinets. I'm like, why did you buy cheap cabinets? He goes, I know. He goes, well, they because we've been here for 10 years. He goes, they got they got me through just fine for 10 years. I don't need any new cabinets. I'm like, well, I have new stuff in my stamping room, and it's really nice, and I appreciate it every day, every day. He's like, yeah. He goes, I don't need it. It's fine. I'm like, okay. I'm like... I've seen your savings account, and I know you have plenty, so you could get new stuff. And he's like, no, no. Okay, let me make sure that... Okay, so looks good, looks great, but this is going to hit the envelope. Okay, that's good. Let me kind of tack that down with dimensionals. Um, right over here. That should hold it. And now this side, that one's really sticking out. Okay, there it is. So you're like, yeah, you're going to be covering all that stuff up. But you could tell we have to. And now this piece goes on right here covering up more stuff, more of the pretty stuff. So did I finish my story? He, yesterday he came in, he goes, I hate it when you're right. I'm like, what? And I didn't want to rub it in. I didn't even know what I was right about. He goes, I need new cabinets. I'm like, yeah. And so he started looking online and everything is like he wanted to look online, find what he wanted and then um, go look at it in person, like at the big box stores. 
Jerry's in Home Depot. And um, everyone, no, no one is liking to work. I mean, they would have him on hold, and then it would just hang up. It would go nowhere. Anyhow, finally got a hold of a few people. They're like, no, that's online only. Look online. He goes, I am looking online. I'd like to see it, what it really looks like. So finally he decided, I'm just going to go in and see what they have in person and look at it. Because you want decent quality. The ones that he has right now, I think it's made by um, some name brand. But they, the, it's kind of like coded particle board. It's like, yeah, with years that's going to fall apart. And it has. So much has fallen off the wall. It's off the wall. So I think he ordered some online and he um they're already there. Like the next day. Very cool. Okay. Yeah, I'm just jabbering. Which, which leaf do you like best? This one is all by itself, so this one has to be a real cute one. What did I do on this one? I did the other one. It's kind of going the other direction. Okay, that. This is looking good. We need the bow. Let's get the bow. Um, double bow. Oh, and this is, I think this is new ribbon. Or maybe it's in the annual catalog. You usually tell by the item number. 159555. Vanilla and gold. Beautiful ribbon. Annual catalog. All the new numbers start with 162. Okay. Then I think the front is done. That wasn't so bad. Just all putting all these little pieces on. It doesn't take long, but it's very rewarding. Like you just have a plain piece of pebbled path paper with all kinds of folds in it, and then it becomes magical with the gold. I love it. Ooh, cutting off circulation. That's how my jeans feel. Making, making it turn blue. But it's going to be a cute bow. I know it. There we go. Okay. Tiny little bow. Goes on to a glue dot. Right here. Covering up that one. I don't want to cover up the words too much. A little bit. Okay. I could go lower. There. That's good. Now it's covering up the flower. Okay, looking good. So that is the front. Pretty. Now let's do the back. Oh, you know, it's okay. So the back, pebbled path, little branches. Just a touch of glue, just to hold them down. I know the bottom, this part of the stem here, will be covered by the flower. The new catalog is so much fun. At first I was like, yeah, okay, there's some good things in here, okay. Then when you really look at them, they're not good, they're really good. Like a lot of good stuff in there. Be interesting to see what um, everyone gravitates to in the new catalog first. Like what's your favorite?
Okay, and then those flowers are going to go on with dimensionals. Three dimensionals. This one I'm going to have kind of pointing, the berries pointed upward. And then this last one, I'll have them pointing in a different direction. Yeah, it's the same flower, but I'm pretending like it's a little bit different. Okay. Well, I think that's it. We did it. Isn't that pretty? Imagine getting that in the mail. That's nice. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button and let me know if you have any questions about getting the bundle and um, getting your free card kits. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.